Welcome to Silver River Center for Chair Caning. I wanted to show you guys a proper chair to bring to your rush, splint, or shaker tape class. Here we have a paper rush chair. This is a two-day class. We have a splint reed chair. This is a one-day class. And shaker tape, also a one-day class. The good thing about these chairs is you need the same type of chair for each type of class. So when you're looking for chairs for one of these basic first projects, I want to show you what you need to get. What you're looking for is a chair with four rails. Round, round rails preferably, but square rails are okay too. And when you see a chair out and about, most likely it'll have a seat on it. So uh, you just go up to the chair and just kind of lean on it. And if you feel it wiggling a little bit, that's fine. We can re-glue it but sometimes the rung is completely broken. Sometimes this is noticeable immediately, but sometimes we only notice it when we take the old seat off. This chair is one where we couldn't tell immediately that this rung was broken, and when we took the seat off, you can see that it's got a huge crack in the rail, and this will need to be repaired before the class begins. This is most likely what you'll find when you're in an antique store looking for chairs. And you can see this one is obviously broken here at the front on both sides. These side rails feel pretty good, so does the back rail. But this front rung is going to need to be replaced before class begins. Uh, now we have uh, some other chairs that are not ideal for your first class. Again, they're not impossible, they're just not ideal. This little rocker here has a rush seat, but the seat pops out. Um, this again is not impossible, but also not ideal for your first class. Um, if you're taking a class with us, we're going to ask you to look for a chair with four round rails attached to the seat frame. This chair is called a Hitchcock chair, and again, it's not impossible for your first project, but it does require disassembling a lot of this chair. This front has to be taken off, the sides, and the arms have to be completely removed from the chair before the weaving process can begin. This is gonna take at least a week before a class um, and it will cost a little bit of extra money to disassemble and reassemble the chair. This is what the chair will look like when that front rail is removed. Uh, and we'll have to reattach it back on. So it does take a week before and after the class to get this type of chair done. So again, we're gonna really encourage you to go look for a chair with four round rails. A lot of people think this is Rush, but this is actually Danish cord. This is a separate class that we offer as a tutorial, but it is uh, definitely go for it, try it out. We encourage everybody to weave their own chairs. However, for a Rush class, this is not what we are teaching in our Rush classes. Uh, for Splint reed, this is actually a hickory bark. Definitely um, better to start with a splint reed, but I also wanted to point out with these rockers, like we really need them cleaned before class, and rockers are just kind of awkward to use in a class setting. Uh, if you're doing it at home, no worries, you can, you can wiggle it around, but you're gonna have to turn this chair over every single time you weave a row. And then you're gonna have to turn it over again. So you really do wanna find a little lightweight chair if you're looking for your first project. This guy, <laughs> it's kind of unusual, honestly, but we just wanted to show you this, the seat is huge. Whether you're doing splint or shaker tape, or this is definitely not ideal for rush, but if you're doing splint or shaker tape, you have all of these obstacles in the back that we're gonna have to work with. It's also a really large seat, so we're definitely going to encourage you to, um, to use a, a straight, chair with four rounded rails and not this rounded edge as well. So we hope to see you guys in the class soon or feel free to send us a picture of your first project if you're trying this at home.